transformed ever since the blockchain technology got discovered. Eventually, it became a huge trend when the pandemic hit and tech enthusiasts got time to dig deep into this technology. At the same time, new age investors began making a significant investments in cryptocurrencies and took it to an another level. However, blockchain technology is much more than just cryptocurrencies. To learn about everything else that blockchain has to offer besides cryptocurrencies, we have with us Mr. Pradeep Narwal, a blockchain technology expert and a founder of Crypto Farm, New Age Soft Soil. Can you explain in brief about blockchain technology? Blockchain technology is basically a distributed, decentralized nature technology. Uh, basically, this is a laser, uh, like we use in the accounting and the finance. But uh, only those persons can check the laser who has the ownership. But in blockchain, this is totally different. This is distributed, this is decentralized, this is peer-to-peer, -peer, and this is shareable. So basically, there are three types of blockchain technologies. First one is the public, second one is the private, and third one is the consortium or the hybrid, the Bitcoin or the Ethereum blockchain is the use case of the public blockchain. Secondly, if I give the example of the IBM Hyperledger Fabric or the Intel Hyperledger uh, Sato, these are the examples of the private blockchain. And if I give the example of the consortium, then any government services uh, that, uh, that are used by the Indian or any other uh, government they are the example of the consortium they use the public blockchain for the base and the application is designed on the private blockchain so what do you think what are the uh, basic misconceptions that people do have about it there are a lot of misconceptions in the blockchain technology so the first one is uh, layman thinks that bitcoin is the blockchain or um, blockchain is only about bitcoin so this is the biggest one and the second one, everybody thinks uh, if uh, this is only a database, database of the cloud, this is not such type of application. This is the distributed or decentralized. And uh, the last one is the everybody thinks the all data put on blockchain is uh, public or it's transparent. But this depends on that which type of blockchain we are using. Is it public, private or consulting? So how far does it go beyond the cryptocurrencies or NFTs or would we say uh, virtual digital assets? Uh, TST is going on the blockchain technology, document verification is going on, caste certificates are on blockchain technologies. What other options Indians could explore in blockchain uh, technology? Other than uh, cryptos and VDS, there are a lot of opportunities. These are in the education sector, these are in the product development these are in the service sector one year back this news came 11 banks have decided to make a consortium to make a blockchain for their internal transactions and speed up the process of the loans and other facilities Maharashtra vocational education board they have uh, verified 1 million certificates last year and on the using blockchain technology uh, in the same example the caste certificate of one district are also available for verification on blockchain technology what other opportunities do you foresee to explore if crypto gets banned in india so blockchain can run without cryptocurrencies also if i give you an example like cbsc is using blockchain technology for providing 10 for 12 class mark sheets on NIC servers. So these servers are also blockchain servers. In the same scenario, the servers which we are providing, they are also blockchain servers. So they can run without crypto mining. There is no effect if government ban on crypto mining and or the digital assets, then blockchain will still continue. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Narwal. It was, it, again, it was very informative and it was a pleasure to have you with us today. Thank you so much.